Hey guys, welcome back. Today's tutorial is this waterfall braid into a little flower. I think this is such a pretty hairstyle, especially for summer, so I really hope you enjoy today's video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure to subscribe down below, and let's get started! With my part on the right side, I'm going to divide out a section of hair to frame my face, and then pick up a section on the heavy side of the part for the braid, and I'm going to divide this section into three smaller pieces, and start by crossing the right strand over the middle, and then cross the left strand over the middle. Now I'm going to cross the right strand over the middle, pick up a new section, and cross it over and into the middle strand. Then I'm going to drop down the left strand, pick up a new section from underneath it, and cross it over and into the middle strand in its place. And then I'm going to take the left strand, divide it in half, and cross half of it over and into the braid as well. So once more, I'm crossing the right strand over the middle, picking up a new section and crossing it into the braid. Then I'm dropping down the left strand, picking up a new section from underneath it, and crossing it into the braid in its place. Then I'm going to split the left strand in half, and cross half into the braid as well. Dividing the left strand into two pieces, and crossing half over and into the braid will help anchor the braid against the head, but it works just as well without dividing it in half, so you can do it either way, and I'm just going to repeat those steps, continuing the braid until it reaches around the back of my head, and I've brought in hair from the right side. So now I'm going to stop adding new sections into the braid and just continue the braid down to the ends before sliding a bobby pin over the bottom. And then I'm going to go back over the braid and gently pull on the edges, but only on the right side. This will help make the petals show up a little bit easier once we create the flower. And then I'm going to tie the bottom of the braid with a clear elastic band. Now I'm going to roll the braid upwards to create the shape of the flower and place it where the waterfall braid ends. And you want to make sure to tuck the ends of the braid into the center. And then I'm just going to take some bobby pins and weave them through the flower starting under the outer edges until the flower feels nice and secure against my head. 